presentador, que es Douglas Fischer. Douglas, por favor, adelante. Douglas va a hablar sobre el uso de RPCL, RPCL para confirmar las relaciones de peering. Por favor, adelante. Puede hablar para, para él. Sí. ¿Dónde está? Hola, hello. Uh, I will uh, speak Portuguese, but I will do this presentation in English. My hope is that somebody in the world could watch this and uh, find an odd crazy guy like me and make it happen. Uh, I'm sorry, my voice is a bit uh, messed up because I drink a bit, but let's go. Um, talking about RP, RPSL to confirm peer relationships. Uh, blah, 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 blah. There are some things about me. There are some interesting things that are, uh, I'm working now for an ITP, uh, IPT transit provider in Brazil. And uh, on an, another thing that, that uh, somebody, some friends cl classifies me as a troublemaker for a better Brazilian internet uh, in the vacant hours. And also uh, a thing that started to happen Uh, two years ago is BPF, Brazil Peering Forno, as Fernando mentioned. Uh, I will store some, some seconds from my presentations to talk about Brazil Peering Forum. We are an org and uh, there are, uh, we are a bunch of guys that works, with, uh, uh, they're, they're on with their jobs in telecommunications, internet, and uh, we work together to create uh, documentations to, to contribute to technical uh, informs and even political in uh, uh, some time. Uh, uh, we are daring to put some things in, even in uh, protocols. Uh, this is the, our landing page. Uh, well, we, this is a, a, I invite to you to contribute. Uh, we don't need uh, any kind of uh, very deep, uh, very uh, deeper dissertations. Uh, the most of our documentations are very simple doc, uh, docs, uh, like uh, how to disable uh, neighbor discovery in Microtik. It makes a lot of mess on the network and helps v so many people, so many persons. So it's things like that that we hope that you bring to us. Uh, let's talk about uh, the RPSL. Well, uh, a big portion of the information on, I will talk about RPSL because uh, I, am a, I am a guy that likes halting security. And uh, this is also the mostly about halting security. A big portion of uh, our information is not trustable. Uh, several guys before me ha had mentioned it about it. And, uh, Uh, this is getting bigger and bigger uh, as the uh, the big uh, ASNs are requiring that uh, all the filters are get based on IIR. Uh, some small ISPs are doing the registrations, their informations uh, as in a very not good way. Let's do some soft words in here. So, uh, in the, on the other side, almost the information in RPKI, RPKI are trustable. I would say that almost uh, to, uh, near to zero informations are untrustable. So, the possibility of using RPKI as source of HALT and HALT6 sounds good to me. So, and, and I mentioned it, the, that uh, this source of, of a, 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 a not one source, because uh, IRR is a good protocol. The, the, the only problem on IRR are, is the guys that operates the IRR, who puts information on it. So if we can do it in an automatically way, it's the salvation. 
So the, the objective in this, this, in this presentation is to present a propose a methodology using already available tools and already existent and existent uh, trustable source of information to create an unlock, unlikely fraudable uh, source to confirm internet re peer relationships. Well, what this means? Uh, I every PKI is good is origin validation but it's not path validation. So it's there that I want to, to arrive. Uh, RPK, uh, I'm sorry, RPKI uh, uh, give us origin validation but gives not, does not give us AS sets. Um, on, on the on last, I believe that was on last, um, uh, like Nick, Mr. Carlos Martinez mentioned it about the IRR that was uh, that would be created by LACNIC based on RPKI information. Uh, that's the links and some questions was on the air. So would be a read-only IRR. What about the AS sets? Uh, I, I include I, I, I exchanged some emails with him and uh, some doubts became uh, arrived and. We try to. I propose the solution. I don't know if it's a good solution. Just for for uh, defining here, I, I, I wasn't aware of how would be the the engineered solution by uh, by Lacnic for this IRR. So, in, in a question of time, Mr. Guillermo had presented it before. Um, well. How will we will be built uh, IIR based on RPKI? We get the rows, we take a, a cupcake a, a nose, put it and make a cupcake that we call IIR. It's simple as that. No, it's not that simple, but it's almost like it. Uh, as Mr. Guillermo has mentioned it, uh, it will be an automated pro uh, process and uh, uh, it, yeah. Well, I, I will leave that to them because uh, all the HOT and HOT6 will, be, will, will, be, will come from the RPKI. But some other informations are important. As HOT sets, how would uh, uh, ASN create, a maintainer create a HOT set? If, if you leave open to the maintainers to create their own HOT sets, they will mess up the things as they messed up all the IRRs in the world. So my, one of the, the, the possibilities is to generate hot sets for each ASN that's referenced as an origin uh, in the in LACNIC uh, objects, hot and hot six objects. Uh, for example, uh, uh, AS123 is defined as origin of, a, of a, the hot uh, 1.8.51.100 slash 24. So it will, we create, uh, the, the software could create a automatically generated hot set with that and also for the uh, AS46, uh, 456 and, and everything like that. Um, well, the previous part, it's very basic. And then we, we arrived to the confirmation of the relationship. Uh, this guy is mentioning that he is in the, on a date with Lara Croft, and uh, I don't believe her. I don't believe him, and uh, you, I think that you should not also trust him. So we, we yeah, but if Lara Croft would say, would tell to us that he, she is on a date with this guy, maybe we should trust him. That's the whole, the whole base of this idea. Uh, I. I uh, I'm pretty sure that um, almost all of you have has saw these uh, screens, these informations of AS in, AS out, of hotting policies. All the years and years uh, uh, has this information. is a very old, very small number RFC. I like the RFCs with small numbers. BGP is around. 100, uh, 17,000, uh, 1700 also. Uh, uh, all this, uh, based on that, we could define the, uh, 
uh, just a minute. Uh, based on that, we could define the peer relationships. But uh, I, I must uh, inf inform you that this information is, uh, is, uh, is trustable where? Uh, on the years and years. I wouldn't trust this information on IARs because they can be changed and be changed by anyone. A maintainer of an a, a, a ISN could uh, create a proxy object and put whatever, whatever he wants about the other ISN and th that information is not trustable. So uh, the base of this proposal, the, the trustable source that I mentioned before on this proposal is see, uh, presuming that this information will be gathered on the here's information, here's database. So here is, is another example. Uh, uh, if you know a bit of Marvels uh, and the Avengers, you know that Mr. Uh, that, that Hook has a, has had a, a date with uh, Romanov, and uh, Captain America also had a date of uh, with Romanov and things like that. But Java has nothing to do with it. So I will put this little. Uh, it it was dropped here for the second time, but Jabba doesn't have ha, has nothing to do with it, and even he says that he is in, on a relationship with Captain America or Agent Romanov. Uh, it's not true because the other side doesn't confirm it. So based on that. Uh, the, the idea is it's to look for the information that should be obligatory informated on, 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 on HERS and uh, with that create AS sets that will define, for example, that uh, on an automatically generated uh, AS set defining that AS4456 four, four, uh, is, is on the whole of peers of AS123. Uh, and, uh, and, and the other side. It will depend. It is looking just to the information on from and to fields, not looking to, the what, to what is being announced or received. Uh, so far, all the proposed, proposed is possible for sure. There's no magic, there's no uh, high level science in here. Uh, if we could, uh, if we could take, uh, she's, she took some minutes from me, I'm uh, a bit nervous, but uh, uh, so far uh, everything is, uh, all the proposed is, is possible for sure. Uh, if we want to uh, evolve to a, a more deep analysis, we could look to what is being announced uh, in this example. Uh, AS123 is announced, is accepts any from the uh, from the AS456, which means he re it receives the full outing, the EFZ, and announces just himself to AS456. Four, four, uh, in, in, in this case, uh, and AS456 receives just the AS123, uh, also he is a downstream from uh, 456, the 123 is a downstream for 456. And playing with that and doing a deeper analysis, uh, we could even uh, define the whole path validation because uh, putting the, the four, uh, 456 inside of his own downstream, we could do the whole path validation uh, on a, uh, and uh, it, this is an alternative to ASPA. A uh, very, very simple and basic on very, very old tools uh, validation to ASPA. ASPA is a very mu much, much complex, very much complex uh, solution. Um, well, the conclusion in this presentation is that uh, the guys that created the internet the guys that created the very small number RFCs uh, had already thought on all of this problematic. Uh, we just thought 
that uh, that that what they proposed was were very complica complicated and didn't like it but the end leave it for uh, leave it aside and um, now we are having to create um, more, way much more com much more complex uh, solutions so my proposal is uh, give uh, two steps back look to what we already have on hands and uh, deploy it just obligate the ASNs to inform the halting policies on their hears and use that information uh, I I open to questions but um, uh, longer than that, I would like to hear what do you think about this idea? Microphone from Natalia is not working. Any questions? Preguntas? No? Muchas gracias, Douglas, por ah. la presentación. Ah, hay una pregunta. Vamos. ¿Quiere usar acá? Cristian Flarty de, de ISO. Eh, ¿Hicieron un estudio de la información actual en los IRR para ver, buscar esas inconsistencias y, y saber cuántas hay? Eh, fa, fala sobre las informaciones de Rotten Policies. Yes. All, eh, Uh, un, un análisis que fue fuera fecha, eh, fuera hecha en las informaciones de registro BR es de eh, que solo aproximadamente 500 ASNs y dos de, de, de casi, casi 7000 eh, tienes estas informaciones prendidas. Entonces, eh, es, es tampoco que la posibilidad con las actuales informaciones no, no, no es posible, pero si esa información fuera eh, obligatoria eh, y para hacerlo obligatoria. Obligatoria, por ejemplo, para en la, la, en el IRR de LACNIC, to, para se crear los objetos automáticamente, eh, es, es un requisito que las informaciones fueran prendidas. Entonces, eh, a, a, yo creo que los ASNs van a comenzar a aprender esas informaciones y eh, eso virará un ciclo virtuoso. ¿Más preguntas? No, so, solo para responder que me parece que es una buena idea. Eh, yo también, pero <ríe> la idea es mía, pero... <ríe> Uh, yo acredito, uh, it's, it's, it's solo una idea, una idea, es una idea, uh, una idea bien loca, pero si más locos como yo se si juntaren, quién sabe a, en dos años eso puede ser un requisito de Manners, por ejemplo. Manners podrá exigir que las routing policies sean preenchidas en RIRS, eso es una posibilidad. Estamos partiendo de cero ahora. Muchas gracias, Douglas. Ahora vamos a llamar 